Hello everyone. I would just like to thank you very much for coming to ODI for this uh, really interesting New Year debate, our first one of 2014. Um, appropriately enough on um, how to stop the world getting fatter. Um, it follows a, a keynote uh, report that we published a week ago today, which was about um, the growing problem of obesity around the world. And um, it has, in the week that we launched it, rapidly become one of the most read ODI publications. And on the day that we published it, it drove the most traffic that we've ever had to the ODI website. And as we've been tracking where that report's gone around the world, we've seen it being covered everywhere from Azerbaijan to Mozambique to Mexico, um, all the way back here, all through Europe, back here to the UK, stateside, um, through all the West Coast, East Coast parts of the states. In fact, the reach of this report in the week that it's been published has been simply phenomenal. So if any of us needed convincing that obesity was a global issue, which the public are really interested in, that kind of proves it to us. But I think the tougher thing is what to do about it. And in all our media interviews, um, a lot of people were asking us, so what can be done about it? And I think this is what this panel discussion is here today about. We've got some really distinguished speakers from different aspects of this debate. Um, and I'm really pleased to say that it's our executive director, Kevin Watkins, who's chairing it for us. Kevin. Thank you. And actually, it's a really timely moment to hold this event because yeah, this is the time of year when we're all reflecting on the resolutions that we've already broken, that we made uh, a, a, a few days ago, many of them doubtless relating to diets. Um, but I, I think, as Ishbel has set out, the, the fact that this report had such an enormous response reflects a growing awareness of the scale of the problem. And, you know, and, I, I, and I think issues about food are so fundamental to development. And traditionally in ODI, you know, we've had a very strong focus on, on malnutrition, on, on food deficits. And I think you know, what, what this report has done, uh, along with other work, is really illustrate problems at the other end of the spectrum. And it, it does seem to me that we're dealing with a formidably complicated and complex set of issues that you know, one of the drivers is clearly globalization and the rise in income that has gone with globalization. You know, as economists, we often talk about uh, globalization driving this process of income convergence between emerging markets and, and, and the richer world. But it's, it, it's also driving a process, as this report sets out, of dietary convergence. But behind that convergence, th there's a huge amount of variation, actually, which is shaped by culture, by history, by the specific circumstances of individuals. This is uh, UNC Chapel Hill. Have, have you guys begun the presentation? Uh, sort of. <laughs> We've only just begun, though, so you have, you have, is that Barry, Jobit? Yeah, so now we're okay. So now we can hear you. We couldn't hear you before, so. Uh, uh, and if Roxanne. Okay, can, you, can, hear, you, can, you, can, you, can, you can hear us now, Barry? Can you hear us now, Barry? Yes, I yeah, can hear so you. Yeah, so we're fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so okay, we'll so mute we'll our mute phone. Our phone. <laughs> okay, but, but I think, so what, Okay, can we do something about the echo on this or not? So what, what we're dealing with here is clearly, it, it, it's partly an economic process, but there are also other forces at play which are set out in, in, in the report and, and more broadly. Some of them related to technology, some of them related to the dynamics of the, of the food industry, some of them to do with, with, with advertising and cultural aspiration, and many other factors. Uh, the, 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 the big issue that comes out of it, of course, is that given the scale of the problem documented in the report, you know, what, what do we do about it? Which is a simple question to ask. But I think it's one that governments around the world and public health authorities around the world are asking in, in, in a very significant way. So this meeting is, is an opportunity to take the debate forward. Um, I just want to briefly introduce the speakers before um, passing over. 
So first of all, we have Steve Wiggins, who along with Sharada Keats um, produced the report, which, it, which is here. Um, it's an absolutely fantastic report. And I say that not just because of the, uh, the, the numbers and the response that, that Ishbel mentioned, but it, it, it is, I, I think, an incredibly insightful and well-written account of a very complicated set of, uh, of, of dietary and nutrition related issues. So Steve is going to spend five to seven minutes um, setting out some of the key findings of the report. Uh, we're then going to go to Mexico and uh, Roxana Valdez Ramos, um, who's a coordinator in the PhD Faculty for Health Science in the Faculty of Medicine in the Autonomous University of the State of Mexico. Uh, and I think it's really um, significant that we have Roxana with us because, of course, Mexico. I think I'm right in saying is either top or second of the global uh, obesity and overweight league, and it's made that transition relatively quickly. We, th we then have in North Carolina, Professor Barry Popkin. And I, I think any of you who work in this field will know um, of Barry's work. That you b I think Barry has been a real pioneer of our understanding of global nutritional transitions around the world through the detailed country level work that he's done on many countries. Uh, he's very widely published. Um, the one, one, one of the books which, which I haven't read has the very uh, catchy title, The World is Fat. I, I, I'm not sure what the subtitle of that is. The World is Fat, but could get better, perhaps. But, uh, but Barry uh, will be speaking to us for around 15 minutes, sharing some of his um, insights and research. Uh, we, we very much hope that by the time Barry has finished, uh, Professor Tim Lang will, will be here. And, and again, many of you will know Tim from the path-breaking work that he's done, not just in the UK, but internationally on, is on issues of nutrition in this country uh, and food labelling internationally. And, and then we're very lucky to have with us as well Andrew Opie, who's Director of Food and Sustainability uh, at, B, uh, at BRC. And, and, it, it, and it's great, Andrew, that we have someone from industry here to give us some of the, some insights from the from the uh, perspective of the, of, the, of the industry sector itself. So, uh, with that, Steve, can I pass over to you, and uh, we'll we get the ball rolling. <laughs> 